Today we take a little detour from our Champions League hopes and dreams as we will find out in this episode will we achieve the 3 P of back to back to back Premier League titles. We only have Arsenal and Manchester United standing in the way so who knows. Hello and welcome back to Unemployed to Legends Club 4 episode 24 with Liverpool. My name is Craig and come up on today's episode we will find out if we will be Premier League champions for the third season in a row. The 3 P. I've never, like I said before this series I've never even won the Premier League back to back. I won it Premier League once. That was many years ago, many many FMs ago but to do it possibly the 3 P three times in a row would be an amazing achievement. Of course, to do that, we have to get beyond the first game, which is Arsenal at home. And depending on how that result goes, it will then determine if we're going to be seeing any of the last two matches of the season. But since you were last with me, uh, we've not actually done any games since that Barcelona triumph, which has taken us to the Champions League final. And that Champions League final will be Monday's episode. So make sure that you've hit the like button and the subscribe button down below so you don't miss that episode coming up. But for today it's all about the Premier League. Arsenal, Everton and Norwich are our last three games remaining. And as you can see from the Premier League table, Arsenal top of the league by one point ahead of us and we're only one point ahead of Manchester United. Albeit Manchester United have already played 36 games, they got two left. Effectively, both us and Arsenal have our games in hand. Ours is actually against Everton. So, of course, we play Arsenal in a moment. Man United will play Man City. Oh, God. Well, we might see one or two teams drop off in the title race today. Maybe. I mean, Man City eight, so far off the top four at the moment. It's actually laughable. And then midweek, we have Everton, Arsenal, all the way at Leeds. I mean, Leeds are mid-table, but they seem to do well against the big teams. I mean, they've done well against us. Obviously, they beat us 1-0. They've beaten Man United 3-1. They've not actually beaten Arsenal, I don't think. Well, oh, Arsenal's result is not here against them. Never mind. That's both Arsenal and Liverpool's game in hand. And then, of course, last day of the season, if we get that far, we have Norwich away. Arsenal at home against Middlesbrough, who are in a relegation battle. And Manchester United all away against West Ham, who are battling for fifth. So it's not a guarantee who's actually going to win the title. But I feel this match will go a long way to determining who's going to be in the running right into the very last game of the season. So this is the 11 that we're going to send out. It's Lot coming goal. A back four, Silva, Debola, Bezerra, Shimon Yontak, Wishtingle, Lavia and Ferrer in the midfield. Anderson Luiz in attacking midfield. Ross and Tobar, the two men up front. We do have a few casualties still. Samuel Vicky is out for up to another 11 days. So Starry should be back, hopefully, for Everton in a few days. Yeah, he'll be back beginning of the week. So he should be back for Everton, which is in the next four days. And TAA and Jovanovic are both just coming to full fitness. So we'll let them rest for this match. Again, it is very, very important we get a result here to keep our hopes of the title alive. A victory, we go top of the league. And we're looking good going to the final two games. A loss. That's going to be very hard to come back from. Very, very hard to come back from. Because we'll be four points behind with just two games to go. And a draw kind of keeps things the same. I mean, it'll put Arsenal on 80 points. It'll put us on 79. And if Man U win their game, gosh, that'll put them on 80. I mean, we'll still have the game in hand. But we'll be at the very bottom of the pack. And right now, it's all about just making sure we get a result, keep it tight against Arsenal. And see where we end up at the 90 minutes. First highlight of the game. And I did notice Arsenal, I think, just got a orange injury. I don't know who it was to. Won't be able to actually see who it was. There it is. It's, uh, yeah, him. I'm not saying his name. I know football managers listening. There is Ross. And Ross has just chipped one into the back of the net. It is his first goal in what feels like forever. I've not looked at the last time he actually scored. But he scored at a crucial point. Liverpool 1, Arsenal 0. Yeah, I'm not mentioning players' names from the other team. Because football manager does listen. It does hear you. And then boom! They score. They score goals. 
All that matters is that Charlie Voss got the first goal. That's that's what matters in this context. Go on, Lotka. Thank you for gathering that up. And can who is this defender? Can you like Debola? Can you like just move away? What's wrong with you? Go on, Voss. Win that. He never he never wins headers. I've noticed that. Ball played over to the left uh, to our right hand side, and he's just gone absolutely uh, past our defender there. Who was was that? Shiman. Shiman just got absolutely beaten. I wouldn't say for pace, just he didn't even run that fast, like running through treacle. Highlights starting to come a bit thick and fast here as Arsenal are in again. Oh god, Martinelli got it on the volley. Did that hit the post or did Lotka save that and then parry that right back into the penalty area? If he did, that was just sloppy. At least just push out for a corner, we can recover from that. Let's have a look here. Costa beat the man. I mean, that came at him at pace, but just push it out for a corner you're probably better off doing that it's like goalkeeping 101 and I've never been a goalkeeper right chance before half time can we sneak a goal can the Stingle just needs to move out a little bit I know he's supposed to play deep but get away from our defenders please create some space for there into Shiman got some space on the right hand side back inside for there Tobar <sighs> tame shot in the end very tame shot, but the highlight continues. That's a bit nerve-wracking. Oh, well won there. Uh, we've just completely lost the ball. Come on. just I'd say just tackle uh, Smith Rowe. I mean, for goodness sake, he is literally uh, running injured. At the moment, Silver just cleared that a bit far, man. Cleared that a bit further. We go into half-time, though, at 1-1. And currently, as it stands, haven't even looked at the league table yet. It will effectively stay the same. Come on, boys. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, Lotko is seeming... He seems pleased. I've never seen that as a dark green before. It's usually if they're inspired, but whatever. As you can see from the league table just down here, 1879 points for Arsenal and Liverpool, respectively. Manchester United, they play later in the day. Oh, this is the early kickoff. That's why. So no one else is actually playing at the moment. And there's... Oh, my God. There's a lot of tired legs. Yeah, we've literally just played Barcelona, haven't we? In midweek. So that's probably why everybody's feeling a bit dead. Right, Wharton is going to go on for Stingle at the base in midfield. Anderson Luiz will go off, Miglurini on. And Manuel Silva is going to go off for Amaral. You know what, we're going to swap Shiman Yuntak and Amaral over. I find Amaral better. Oh god, no I didn't want to do that. No, just confirm sub. I don't do team talks to substitutes. I I haven't done that for many years. I find it actually does nothing. Ross with the ball down the left-hand side. Yep, thank you for passing that. Lavia. There is Ferrer that he's been beaten to the ball. Amaral. Oh, Toba. Uh, did that just get blocked by Miglarini? No, it's the corner. It's fine. Uh, Ferrer with the corner. I've just realised Saravia isn't even... Oh, we had two bites in the cherry. Ball was saved on the line. And then Bezerra just puts it wide. I've just realised that Saravia isn't even in the squad today. Oh, that's a great save by Ramsdale. Bezerra should have taken that down. Should have taken that down. You had enough time, man. We are putting the pressure on with these set pieces. And there is Bezerra. We did not need Saravia for that. Bezerra with... It says his first goal of the season. It is. Yeah, he's got an assist this season. But Bezerra with his first goal of the season. At a crucial time in the title race. Liverpool 2, Arsenal 1. Let's just drop back to balance a little bit. And I think we have another couple of substitutions. We are going to make those last two subs about now. And it looks like they're going to be fairly defensive as well. Shiman is tired. Diaz will go on at left back. Go on support. And Ashley should be in the midfield. I know Bezer is tired, but the midfield is shattered as well. Lavia is going to go off. Four. Oh my god, oh, we don't have anyone else. I tell you what, um, Louis Carlos is going to come on and he's going to swap with Tobar. Apparently Tobar can play central midfield. He's quite accomplished. Well, I suppose uh, we have no choice now. I know Katinic is on. I could move Aaron Wharton forward, but... Uh, uh, I probably should have done that, actually, thinking in hindsight. I should probably have done that. I wasn't thinking very well. Miglurini. Debola. 
I wish the bowler would just move away a little bit. There is Ross. For where? Play it out left. There we go. Plenty of space for Diaz there. Just coming inside a lot at the moment. De Bola for there. Plays it through to Carlos. He's going to get to that. And there is Ross off the line. And thankfully, Arsenal lose the ball to us. Right. It is the eight, 89th minute. Oh, come on. I just wanted to make some... Lotka saves that, thankfully. Just wanted to make some quick changes. There we go. So, time wasting. Lower the tempo. Just slow everything down. Slow it all down. Lower defensive line more often. Just slow it down. We've got about a minute left. Less than that. And we've taken a crucial three points. Which has put us in first place. Going to the final two games of the season. Yep. Top of the league. First time I've done that team talk. Well done lads. Now let's just make sure we finish the job in the last two matches of the season. So Manchester United drew their game against Man City. It was a nil-nil draw. So they currently sit three points behind us in the league table. Us and Arsenal play our games in hand. Of course Arsenal have to go away to Leeds. Which is going to be a tough prospect for them. But all we can do is make sure we do the business against Everton at home. So... With that in mind, we've made a few changes to the squad, so I'll go through the starting eleven again. It's Lotko and goal, back for Silva, Borgia, Bezerra and Albert. Andre Albert, I should point out. The guy who's been sitting in my under-21s after I bought him, uh, bought him uh, 18 months ago. He arrived on a free after his contract ran out at Union y Cultura in Argentina. He went on loan to Salzburg and Derby and didn't think I was actually going to be using him until a game against Wolves which was the game that sandwiched the Champions League semi-final matches and he got an assist on his debut fair enough apparently he's decent Premier League already so let's see what he can offer at right back he's a wing he's been playing in that wing back role on support he's got the pace his physicals are decent so let's give him another go it'll give Shiman Yuntak as well a break and he'll be on the bench for this match as will Lavia so Katanich should have based in midfield with Wharton and Ferreira ahead of him. Uh, Charles de Catalaire in attacking midfield. Ross and Tobar continue up front. Louis Carlos is on the bench as is Anderson Luiz and Ronaldo in case we need them. It is worth pointing out we could win the league title in this match. Assuming we win and Arsenal lose. In fact, even if Arsenal draw. I think even if Arsenal draw, they go a point behind us and then if we win, we go four clear. Yeah. So... If Arsenal lose or draw, we have to win. So I'm hoping for a victory in this match. Let's just uh, finish this nice and early if possible. And this is the third season in a row that we are facing Everton in like the second to last match of the season. I don't know why. I, f I feel like the game has literally scripted us to, do, to face Everton like this every single season. And it's always with title implications. I'm sure the Everton fans must love that for the third year in a row. As we've just given the ball away a bit too easily. We're now chasing, but Albert thankfully mops up. I thought the ball would cross the line. Oh my god. Why is Lotka so far back? He didn't need to be in his own goal for that. Goodness me, guys. Show some brains. I just noticed on the scoreboard, Arsenal are tuning up away at Leeds so as it stands the title race will go down to the final day of the season regardless all I'm hoping for at this point is that we just get the three points come what may uh, to CDK is through there and Ross has put it in the back of the net suspicions of offside where is the linesman he's kept his flag down I think yes it is a goal Ross just about stayed on side two goals in two matches uh, I like it that Ross has decided to come back into form at the most crucial point of the season. Oh, it was just onside, actually. How close was this? I do want to see this. CDK with another assist to his name. More of a goal scorer than an actual assist maker these days, just about. Oh, that was very, very close. VAR was on our side on that one. Free kick, Axel Ferrer swings one in. I thought free uh, penalty had been given away there. Katanich plays it in. CDK heads the ball over. I thought CDK is our normal uh, free kick taker. I don't know why he wasn't on that, quite honestly, but whatever. As we approach half time, we've got a highlight here Wharton. 
<laughs> should have passed that a bit earlier, man. What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on here? Bezerra cleaning up for uh, CDK. Katanic into Tobar. This is Liquid and Voss. Couldn't apply the finish, but that was Liquid football. I was about to say going into half time, but we still have another high line. Why are you giving the ball away there? You fool! You fool! Thanks, Everton. Thank you. You know which side your bread's buttered. Katanic. Ferrer. Into Pazera. Over the top. To CDK. 2 0. Please let that be the three points wrapped. I don't care if it's only half time. I just want to have a cool, calm second half. CDK. Applying the finish. Man is back on form after resting at the weekend. The keeper didn't even dive in time. He, by the time he moved, the ball was in the back of the net. That's how quick that shot was. Well done, CDK. Well done, Liverpool. So far, 2-0 at half-time. Albert with the throw-in. Very happy to see Albert on the pitch. I mean, my assistant has been constantly saying to me that we should bring him up into the first team. But I was always conscious that he may not actually have any game time is Ross on side there let's have a look no he's disallowed he was off for that one but I was always conscious of whether Andre Albert would actually have any game time which is why I kept him down in the under 21 so he's well offside there but now he's getting crucial match time very late in the season it's making me think I should probably have done this a bit earlier I know we've had Jovanovic but I find Andre Albert is probably a bit more natural at right back than Jovanovic. Then again, Jovanovic is more of a uh, central midfielder, so that's probably why <laughs> he's probably more of a natural in the middle of the park. Manuel Silva is going to go off for. Um, so neither of these are convincing left backs. Uh, Nahil Diaz isn't even on the bench either, so Shiman is going to go at left back. I think he's all right at left back, isn't he? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He can he can do that role. Uh, let's have a look as well. Chart Tobar is feeling a bit tired, so Louis Carlos is going to come on. Let's give him a bit of match time to keep his fitness up. He may yet pr uh, play a crucial role in the match against Norwich at the weekend. Highlight here with Everton on the ball. Let's just try and keep it tight, lads. Let's see if we can win the ball back, force him into a mistake. Maybe not because they've just switched the ball over. Move over, lads. Come on. Thank you. Shimon. Well done, Borgia. Silva. Oh, Silva's still on the pitch. The subs haven't even gone through yet. Wharton. Beautiful. Move it around. Tobar. Beautiful. Over the top to Ross. 3 0. That will hopefully seal the three points. Keep us top of the league going into the final day of the season against Norwich. Beautiful stuff. Very calm in central midfield right here. Helps that they have a little bit of time on the ball. Uh, lovely ball forward by Tobar. He is just going to go off. The subs haven't gone through yet. So Tobar's final contribution, making it 3-0. Well done. And Silva will go off as well at left back for Shiman Yuntak. Right, I've just literally looked back at the screen and I've just seen that I might have missed the goal. Is this actually on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> I looked away from the screen at the wrong time. Oh, Louis Carlos scored it. I thought it was Saravia. Oh, Carlos just about got a little touch on it to guide it into the net. And he was onside as well. Oh, the touch wasn't even from him. Okay, interesting. But whatever, it is 4-0. I looked back at the screen at just the right time to see that goal. Otherwise... I'd have been coming back to you and saying, yeah, it was 4-0. Completely missed it. Totes, sorry. Uh, let's see. All the game management stuff on. Just waste down the time. We don't need a highlight here. Come on. Just just finish this match. Because <laughs> we need to get to Norwich. This is otherwise going to be like a 30-minute episode. I'm, gonna already, I'm already going to have to try and cut it down as it is. Well done, Borgia. Uh, okay. <laughs> Game just lagged and it ends up in the back of the net. Saves us on the, clean on the clean sheet bonus. That's all. It saves us on the clean sheet bonus, to be fair. Oh, yeah, what a strike. <laughs> Keeper should have actually saved that. Lotko should probably have gotten closer to it, but 
whatever, it's too late now anyway. 4-1, I will take that. A uh, Derby Day win and keeps us top of the league. Excellent stuff. Well done. It's on to the final day against Norwich now. We are top by two points because I think Arsenal did win. Yeah, 2-0 in the end. And that means now Manchester United are knocked out of the title race. It is down to a straight shootout. Liverpool and Arsenal for the title. And so we have made it to the last ever Premier League game of this series. We play Norwich away. Arsenal play Middlesbrough at home. A not yet relegated Middlesbrough actually in the race for the Premier League title. Anything less than an Arsenal victory, we win the title. And look at what's the difference. It's two points difference between the two of us going into this match. And this is the final Premier League 11 I will be bringing to you in this series. It is locked coming goal. Back four, Silva, Saravia, Bezerra and Shiman Yuntak. Hmm, I'm just thinking. Actually, yeah, we'll stay with Saravia. We will stay with that. Uh, Stingel, Lavia and Ferrer in central midfield. De Ketelaire in attacking midfield. Ross and Tobar will still continue up front for, I think, the third game in a row. And I think that's the first time I've done that in a very, very long time. Win or draw, we win the title. And I say a draw because our goal difference is massively superior to Arsenal's. But personally, I'm going out for the victory. I don't want to have to rely on a draw. I think that's absolute insanity. And I don't think my blood pressure would really be able to take that. So Norwich got lining up the 4-2-3-1. This match is at Cara Road. So unfortunately, if we do lift the title, it will not be in front of our home crowd. Which is a shame. But then we never actually saw it last season when we uh, won the title. No, we didn't win the title. But our final home game of the season, we didn't even see the trophy lift. Don't know why. We did win the title I think about two games before or one game before couldn't remember but we didn't see a trophy lift at all which is a shame hopefully we will this time assuming we win the title Shiman is in so much space what the heck Ross has it in the back of the net but he was offside that's why he was so far ahead and that's why he had all that space regardless stays nil nil for the moment and so is Arsenal Middlesbrough which is very good news Lavia Taking the ball forward, it is a, I was about to say we had a three on one situation at one point there, should have made the pass, but they have now recovered. And Norwich are now countering us down our left hand side, so, sorry, our, their right hand side, our left hand side, I always get confused for some reason. But they're playing the ball nicely through here, this highlight has been going on for way too long, we're not closing him down. Oh god, it's just on the bar. It is out for a corner. I was hoping Lotka would have that covered. He's got previous this season. So there's not a guarantee. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. And Norwich have the ball again here. This is why I hate away games in the Premier League. The home team always have the impetus to attack. Oh god, it's just off the post there. Is that who I think it is? I'm not going to click his name until after this match. Ferreira's just picked up a knock. And I'm not going to risk him because we do have the Champions League final coming up. So instead, we will be seeing the return of Sestari. Hey, Cesare Sestari. He is back. He needs some match time before the Champions League final anyway. So we will give him that for hopefully the last hour or so. Corner to us. A goal here would be very, very welcome. But Zera just puts it over. Oh, he almost understood the assignment. As we're closing in on half-time at the moment. Ah, Arsenal have just taken the lead. Oh, God, this is so close. As it stands, we'll win the title on goal difference. Don't lose faith. You have the ability to make an absolute difference for us. Come on. We need one goal. Throwing for Norwich. They're down. Norwich coming at us here. And Slepper, we just... Oh, I was about to say we're cleaning up there, but Shiman, don't get some nerves now, guys. This is our dress rehearsal, if you will, for the... Champions League final, goodness me. That's going to be completely different gravy, though, to facing Norwich, obviously. No disrespect, Norwich. Silva plays the ball over to Ross. We have Tobar in the middle. He can finish. Silva. CDK goal. That's the goal that we needed. That could be the title-winning goal for my £150 million player. He's not worth that anymore. But £150 million player, Charles de Catalaire. 
or Catalare, however you want to pronounce his name. I've been pronouncing it one or two ways this entire series. I don't care. I don't care, especially if he's been uh, giving us trophies over the past few seasons. That's what he was brought in for, to win us the big, uh, the big boy trophies. Now he just has one left that he needs to help us lift. Oh, Cesare, almost, Cestari, sorry, almost playing it into Ross there. Cross was not good enough, and Norwich now. Oh, they just gave the ball away anyway. Oh my god, they're sliding in everywhere. Turbar isn't quite quick enough. Bless him. Ball played back to us. Win it. Good man. Stingle. Lavia. Over the top to Ross. 2 0, and I'm thinking that was onside. Where's the linesman? He's down here. The flag is down. Goals awarded, 2-0. I thought that was onside. It was over the top, but I thought Ross had stayed on this time. Let's have a look. Norwich just gave the ball away there. Scrappy in the midfield. Over the top to Ross. Finishes clinically. That's what I want from my striker. That's his third goal in three games. All in this episode. The man just loves the camera. Might play him in the Champions League final then. Might have to start him there. If he's on form, then we will be starting him, to be fair. 2-0. Arsenal are currently still 1-0 up against Middlesbrough. Uh, I was about to say Middlesbrough. I apologise. So it's Middlesbrough. There's no borough in Middlesbrough. Oh, CDK. Oh, I should have made that 3-0. Right, there's a lot of tired legs out there. Tobar is going to go off for Louis Carlos. And Marcus Stingle is going to go off for Adam Wharton at the base in the midfield. Silva can also go off for Amaral. Swap him over with Shimon Yontak. And I think that will be it for the moment. Oh god, Ashley Shiman is also tired. Amaral's going to just have to stay at left back. So Andre Albert's going to go to right back. Because I want Shiman fit for the Champions League final. I know we've got a couple of weeks until that match anyway. But I would rather not completely destroy players in the meantime. In the meantime though, Amaral with the throw in. Cross it. Oh, Lavia. CDK. Savavia. Oh, just wide. He doesn't normally score with his feet, bless him. He's more of a score with his head type of player. I was hoping to just make the final changes. And, uh, sorry, Albert just heads the ball away there. I was hoping to make the final changes before this highlight started. Ah, oh, Albert is a godsend at right back. I might have to play him there. Go. Well, actually, no, I won't be here next season. What am I on about? <laughs> this is my only chance to actually see him. This is our only chance to actually see him because, obviously, it's over after the next match. He can't even play in the Champions League. He's not even registered, so this is the last opportunity. I'm rather sad about that. I I should have played. I should have brought him into the squad much earlier. God. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's all academic now. And I think... Hang on. Oh, we've made all the substitutions, haven't we? Right. Okay. Never mind. Um, what we are going to do... Is just waste all the time down. Just secure us victory that will give us the Premier League title. Lovely, lovely stuff. The three-peat, ladies and gents. We've never done this before. I've never done this before. I'm doing the three-peat in the Premier League. And we get the trophy lift. Well, hey, season two uh, winning the title was just a glitch. But we will at least get the Premier League title. Hopefully that is trophy one of two and we will find out on Monday if we can add the Champions League trophy to our glittering collection. Our three peat Premier League champions are... Whoa, hang on, hang on, wait to say it, wait to say it. Come on, yeah, Liverpool, well done. Well done everyone. Three times back to back to back Premier League champions. Now... Let's get ourselves ready for the Champions League final, which is in, as I said, just under two weeks after this match. So we've got a bit of a break. See if I can put a friendly in the middle of that. So we just keep the match fitness up. And then we will be playing Real Madrid, which is at their ground. I'm sure there's nothing shady about that whatsoever. Well done, guys. Manchester United, I think, lost on the last day. So finishing nine points behind us. Let it be known that at the start of this episode, it was much closer than that cdk needs to go on holiday that's absolutely fine he can take a week off because we've got just under two weeks until real 
Madrid. In the Champions League final, which is at the Bernabeu, make sure you are around for that on Monday afternoon. And I'm hoping, hoping make it two trophies from two and finish the series on a massive high. If you have enjoyed this episode, then how could you not? A Premier League triumph, which is hopefully a prelude to us winning the Champions League on Monday. So make sure you hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for your support on this series as it's coming to an end. And I look forward to seeing you all on Monday's episodes.